Hey, Right Riders, Keith Wheeler here back with another video for you. And today we're doing a second installment in the Amazon ads series where we help Judy Shearwaters take her book, Mystery in the Jackson House, and create an Amazon ads for her. We're going to create three different Amazon ads. We're going to do an automated keyword ad. We're going to do a manual keyword ad, and we're going to do a manual product targeting ad. So if you're excited for this, make sure that you give that thumbs up a smashy smashy. And if you haven't seen part one of this series, then make sure that you pause this and go back and check that out. I'll include a link to it above. And with that, let's flip the screen around and get started. All right, so to find Amazon ads, we're gonna go to marketing right here. We're gonna scroll down right here. It's got Amazon ads. If you wanna sign up for KDP Select, you can do that here. Your Amazon Author Central page is here. A plus content is down here, but we're focusing on ads. So we're going to choose the marketplace, which for us is .com. We're going to go to that console. So we're going to, we talked about before, we're going to do three different campaign types. Uh, the first one we're going to do is we're going to do um, an, an automated keyword ad. So we're going to click create campaign. Now, again, the great thing about doing automated ads is especially if you're not familiar with your niche, then it's a great way to have Amazon kind of help you and, and find keywords that people are looking for and are actually typing in. Um, and it really helps you to, to choose when you're doing um, the manual ones later, you'll know you can go into the analytics and see what people are actually searching for. So, so it's a great way to find other keywords that you might not have thought of. All right, so we're gonna do the promote product listings right here, click continue. Now you'll, you'll see the lock screen ads that were over there on the right-hand side. Um, there are, a f and I've talked about this in other videos, there are a few book types uh, or, and genres that do really well with lock screen ads. But now that uh, Amazon sells Kindles without that are ad-free, the, the lock screen ads I have found to be a lot less helpful. So the first thing we're going to do is whether we want custom ad text or standard ad text, which means there's not going to be um, any, you know, any ad copy. I always suggest to create your own ad copy because it it just gives you 150 more characters that you can convince someone to to per, to click on this link instead of just your book cover. All right, so we're going to search for your book. If it doesn't pull up with the title, then you can just go in and, and get your ISBN or your ASIN. And that's okay. what I did. All right, so we're going to add that there. Okay, then we scroll down here. We're going to do automatic targeting. Again, that's that's where we're letting Amazon do all the heavy lifting for us. Okay. All right, we want to set our default budget, our default bid. This is going to be how much uh, as a default that we're going to be willing to pay per keyword. Based on your budget, I'm going to start off with probably, let's just say 26 cents. And obviously we can go in there and and tweak things as we, as we need um, once, once the project is live. But um, that's going to be that's going to be the default. All right. If we're going to if you want to put any negative targeting, I don't, especially when I'm first starting out. But you can if you know that there's absolutely a, a type of um, reader or something that someone's searching for that you absolutely don't want, then you can then you can put that in here, like maybe the word free or things like that. I usually don't add anything in there for negative targeting to begin with. Um, right here, you can put negative target product targeting. So if we were targeting. Um, actual products instead of just keywords. If there's anybody you absolutely don't want to go against, you know, maybe, maybe you've got another book in that same niche and you don't want to compete against yourself. You can put that in there. Then down here is where you put in your custom text. So if I don't put in anything, like if I were to do a standard text where I didn't do custom up at the top, then this is all they would see. They would see sponsored. They'd see your title, um, your name, the cover, the price right here, and then the reviews but we want to give them additional reason to buy. And so what I did was I took the actual book description and I, uh, I fed that into my friend chat GPT huh. and came up with this, which I don't think it's going to allow me to put in all these special characters, but that's fine. I wanted to take into a consideration um, that this was over at a holiday break. And so again, getting, Oh. You know, you're talking to the parent, getting them um, okay. to, to want to, um, you know, try, trying to convince them to buy based on emotion. Okay. And so um, the mystery in the Jackson house is the ideal venture for nine to 12 year olds. That was your, your um, age range. And sure. so, so I wanted to make sure that that's in there. 
starting right off with, because you know, people have short attention spans. The very first thing they're going to see is make winter break magical. Like right off the bat, it's going to speak to them. Now, this is something that once winter break is over, like once January, mid-January hits, you'll probably want to tweak this text a little bit. Um, but again, something to talk, to speak to them right away. Uh, okay. Okay. So then now we're moving on to dynamic bids. This really has to do with what your budget is. Um, you know, fixed bid, if I put it on this, it means it's going to use the 26 cents per bid and and that's it. That's what it's going to use as your bid. Now, again, I've talked about this in other videos. That doesn't mean that that's what you're going to pay. Um, these these are um, second, uh, second bid auctions, which means whoever comes in first place will pay the price one penny more than whoever bid second place. Okay. So okay. even though you're saying 26 cents, you may only pay 15 cents. What this means is um, like, if you do dynamic down, that means that it will lower your bid. If the algorithm thinks it can get it for a cheaper amount. Okay. And then dynamic up and down means it will fluctuate up to a hundred percent um, more than what you bid. So instead of 26 cents, it'll be up to uh, 52 cents. Yeah. for a keyword if it thinks that that keyword is again amazon's always about um relevancy so if mm -hmm. it thinks that your keyword is the most relevant if you, if amazon algorithm thinks that that they have the best chance of getting a sale uh -huh. using your book and this keyword then it then it will up it to as much as 52 cents for the keyword but uh -huh. it'll also lower it if it thinks it can get it at half that price so if it thinks it can get it for 13 cents so again you know, the bid is not necessarily what you're going to pay. It's just the highest you're willing to go. Okay. So depending on your budget, you you can do fixed where you just want to set it at the 26. Um, if you want, if your main criteria is to get sales, then I would consider doing the up and down. And especially, okay. if, especially if you're willing to look at this, look at your analytics daily um, mm. to make sure, to make sure that you're staying within your overall budget. Then down here, we have um, the section where it's where we're adjusting our bid based on where it's placed. So, are you know if you're winning, willing to go um, fifty percent higher to be on that first page, then you would put that here. Um, mm. If you're if you're willing to, um, you know, as long as it's on the you know anywhere, you're willing to pay this much more. Um, if it's shown up on the project, you know, product pages, you know, are you willing to to charge more? I, I'm going to leave all these blank for you because um, right here it says a bid at 26 cents will be 26 cents um, for all of these if I don't up it. Okay. So for now, you can always go in and change this. Um, if you really want the best chance of, you know, top top of search, first page placement, then, you know, you're willing to do 50% more. Um, again, if I mean, I could put in here 50% and it should tell me down here, yeah, right here. 26 cent bid will be 39 cents for top search, 26 cents for the rest. Mm -hmm. So it'll tell okay. you right here. So like if you just put a percentage in here, it'll tell you what it what it will be. Now, keeping in mind, this is this is per word, per keyword, but also it's only you only pay when someone clicks. So um, if you do you want me to to leave that at 50 percent? Um, so you've got you know, a better chance of Hey, uh, yeah, uh, let's uh, let's go for the gusto, Keith. Let's okay. let's do it. let's do okay. it. Okay, okay. Um, all right. So then we're going to give this a name. Um, uh, it, the name really just has to do with making it easier for you to see it okay. and, and know and know what it is. Um, mm -hmm. So we'll just call it mystery. Okay. Underscore auto underscore one. Um, just in okay. case you end up doing another one later, you okay. can call it underscore two. Sure. Um, you don't, if, if you have portfolio, if you have folders, like, uh, uh -huh. in my, in my account I have, because I have so many different books, um, I have a portfolio, I have a folder for each of my books. Uh -huh. And then you, you, if you do that, then you can just assign it to a portfolio right here. Um, you give it start and end dates. Um, today is the 11th of December. So it's going to start as soon as it gets approved. Um, I, I typically do not put an end date. Okay. Um, uh, but you can. Uh, there are people that that argue both ways. I know uh, Brian Cohen, who is a genius when it comes to ads. Uh, a lot of times he'll tell you to put an end date for like two weeks or whatever, uh, especially during the holidays. I like to let these things run as long as I can. 
Um, okay. So, and especially since I'm checking it daily anyway. Now your daily budget, what do you, um, the suggested daily budget here is $12. You don't wow. have to do that. You can, you can do as low as a dollar a day. Understand that, you know, the, the higher your, your budget is, the more uh, views it's going to get, the more yeah. potential views it's going to get because, you know, Amazon, the algorithm, when it puts it out there says, you know, I, if, if she's, if I'm charging, you know, 26 cents per click, how many people can I send it to, to get to this dollar amount for the day? You may go over the budget on a day or two, but overall for the, for the length of it, like, especially if you do it for like two weeks for the length, it won't, it'll still average out to be no more than, than what your daily budget is. So right. um, what do you want to set for your daily budget? Well, it's so not if I'm willing, if I'm willing to, to lose <laughs> or to invest a hundred dollars a month for a period of time, what would you suggest I put there? I mean, at $12 a day, um, that's going to give me less than 10 days, right? If it hits that mark, right. is that right? Right, right, right. Um, <clears throat> keep in mind that your the daily budget, you can always adjust as well. Okay. So, I mean, if you, if you were saying, let's just say just a nice round number, if you were going to do $300 for a month in a 30 day month, that would be a $10 a day budget. Yeah. I, again, many times, and even in my, in mind, it doesn't come anywhere near that budget. Um, yeah. so you, if you want to start, you can start at $2 and then bump it to five. Also with it being the holidays knowing that um, it's going to, it, they're going to cost more. Okay, let's do 10. Let's put All right, we'll, 10. we'll do 10. And again, you can you can always go in here and change it. And okay. There goes ten, $10. And then we launch the campaign. It really, it's really that simple. So, um, I mean, we put a lot of thought into this. Also, before I hit click this, remember we're doing two more ads. Oh, so that's right. And let's let's, let's change this to five, okay. especially since this is the automated one. This is okay. the one that, that we have the least amount of control over. I mean, not really, oh, okay. but like we have, we have no control over what keywords it's, it's sending it to. Um, oh, okay. so we'll do, yeah. we'll do $5 for this one and we can do $10 on the manual one. Yeah, we don't see the keywords on this at all. Um, You, you will in the, once it gets approved and, and things start coming in, oh, in, the okay. in the dashboard, you will see that. Okay. So in the dashboard, you'll click on the book and um, you'll go into targeting. And it will show uh, where the, okay. you know, what's, what's gotten clicked on. Um, and, and that and you'll use that information. And we'll talk about that in the video that we do about analytics um, when, when we actually analyze these in, in a couple of weeks, but it, you'll be able to see what keywords are, are making you money, which ones aren't. Um, and that's, and it's important to know now as you're, once it gets approved, you, you want to look at, that's what you want to look at daily is okay. not only just what you see here as far as like, you know, what you're making, but you, and what you're spending, but you want to click on it and look daily. I don't think you see any, I don't, I don't see any that are automated, but um, if you click on it, you can go to targeting and it will tell you what, what keywords people are, you know, what type it is and you know, how much it's costing you. You can go in here and change these. So like, yeah. you know, we, we set it to 26, you can always change it. Um, but more importantly, if you see something is costing you money and it's not converting, uh, if you get more than 10 clicks and you haven't gotten a sale, I always pause that, um, oh, okay. especially especially on an automated ad. All right, so let's go back to the manager and we're gonna create a, uh, a, a manually targeted ad. So we'll click in here. Again, we're gonna do the sponsored product ad. Again, we're gonna do the custom text because we wanna add more text to it. This is gonna be manually targeted. We're gonna do manually keyword targeting. Uh, we okay. could do, pro we could do product targeting. We're going to do that last. Okay. So when we, when we're putting in the keywords, there's different types of filters. You can filter on broad phrase or exact broad means whatever words I put in there. If those words are included in what they type in the search, mm -hmm. in the search bar, it will, this will possibly show for that phrase okay. means it has to be that phrase, it could be that phrase, you know, with other things before it, other things after it, but it has to be that. Um, and then exact means it's exactly that. That's all they typed in. Um, and the good news is the exact phrase is because it's more rare that someone's going to to type it in, those cost you less money. 
So you want to keep that in mind. Uh, we're going to go to, I always, especially when I start out, I start out with both with all three. And then I go to a custom bid because I never do what Amazon suggests when it comes to money. Default bid, it says 33 cents. We're going to change that to 26. Now, obviously some things will show up depending on, on you know what words we put in here. Enter the list. You could upload a file, but I'm just going to copy and paste it in here. Okay, one good thing about Amazon ads is you're allowed to include author names and book titles. Okay, so these are all our keywords. Add keywords. These are the ones that did not like. Wow, there are quite a few of them. Well, it's because we were more than the, once I added that in, we were more than the thousand. Really? That, oh yeah, I guess so, yeah. You can go through and and look and see which one, you know, why they were removed. They were, um, some will get declined because you're using things like, um, key words that they don't like, like free or, um, or they don't like, you can't use the word Amazon. You can't use the word KDP. Hmm. See, there are some that are here like three times. Well, they're going to be here three times because they're broad phrase. Oh, and exact. It. Okay. Right. Okay. And so, and so that's why that's actually the main reason uh -huh. why a lot of them, because when you do that, then we've now gone over the thousand. Yeah. Because, that's, you know, you've, you had 300 okay. words over 300 phrases in there. And then those 300 phrases times three different formats of it now brings you into the 900. Right. That so was, it, yeah. that's what I'm saying. It's it's not difficult to get to that thousand. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. So, so there we go. So this right here is telling you what, what they're suggesting, what Amazon's suggesting, obviously mm -hmm. keywords like action, they're very generic. They're going to be very expensive. Chances are it, you're not going to, you're not going to get shown for that particular word, you know, other additions of it, you know, you might. So, um, yeah. So, okay. So that's all those, again, we can go through here and change these, but right now they're default to the 26 cents that we allotted. Mm -hmm. So that's fine. Um, if we're going to do any negative keyword targeting, which right now, uh, I don't see any, any need to do that. And then of course, in here, we're going to put our custom text. Um, we could use the same text that we used before. We could try something a little different, you know, maybe, you know, see which works, which doesn't. Here was another one that ChatGPT came up with. I want to see how this one okay. works. Um, it mm -hmm. says Unleash Adventure. Mystery in the Jackson House is the perfect bedtime thrill for nine to 12 year olds. Bravery, secrets, excitement, await. Perfect reading thrill. Instead of bedtime, maybe a reading thrill. Uh, but it's the perfect. Should we put nine to 12 year old boys? Would that make it even more specific or leave it more broad? I mean, do you think it would answer? I mean, would girls enjoy the book as well? I know the yeah, main characters. It would, yeah. 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 So then let's, then let's, let's not limit our audience. Then. Okay. All right. All right. And then again, mm -hmm. again, we we can decide on the, on whether we want to do dynamic up and down, dynamic down only fixed bids. All right. Um, to um, the up and down. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And mm -hmm. then here, if you want, we can, again, we can do the, the 50%. I probably yeah, need to take out some words like the action and because we know that's going to cost me a lot, right? It's not going to cost you a lot because chances are you're it's not you're not going to be shown for it because your bid oh. at at most will be let's see thirty nine cents at most would be seventy eight cents for okay. the one hundred percent up and down so uh, seventy eight cents for it to be shown. Um, I. I don't, I honestly don't think that'll be enough uh, with, with how competitive that word is, especially during the holidays. But if you okay. do get it for set, if you do get it for 78 cents, that just means it's showing up for it. And then they're going to look on that. Is that going to be a book that they want to click on? You know, sure. and, and and again, we can, you're going to go through. And if you see that you are being shown for it and it is costing you clicks and no one's buying it, then feel free to pause it, you know, pause those mm -hmm. words. Again, we're going to use the same time frame. Let's give it a different name. Uh, this one is going to be mystery underscore manual underscore one. Okay. And then this one will give the $10 budget too. I think we did $5 we, before you want to do right. five or 10. I mean, and I mean, you want to change it to seven fifty. whatever. I mean, it's, it's okay. completely up to you. All right. Um, let's do five. And again, mm -hmm. you can, you can always adjust your, your bids. Okay. Um, the, the custom text you, you really can't change. So okay. you would have to. Um, like, you know, like the one that we talked about winter break, what you'll want to do is when that's over, you'll probably want to just cancel that ad, um, okay. or run it or keep it running and see what happens. I mean, um, yeah. I mean, schools let out, you know, 
during the winter different times. All right. And then we're going to do one more. We're going to do a product ad. Now, okay. when I do product ads, um, typically uh, I only, again, it's going to be a, a sponsored ad, sponsored product. I try to only do a few, one at most five uh, products at a time. Okay. It just, it just makes it easier to, to manage for me personally. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to make it manual. Again, you could do this okay. automated too, if you want to see who your competitors are product wise, but I'm going to do it uh, manual. We'll do product targeting. We're going to do the default bid and we're going to make it, well, you know, let's keep it at 26 cents. I was going to say bump it up, but let's, for consistency, let's just keep it at that. Um, okay. And then we're going to do, let's do individual products and let's enter our list. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the books that we got from Publisher Rocket and we're going to put them in here. And it accepted 77 of them. There may have been doubles. There may have been more than one book by the same author. Right. Well, and I also, and I also did, well, these are, I, these are ACE. Oh yeah, that's right. That's right. right. Hmm. So these are the, these are the exact books. Okay. But, but we're doing, I'm doing expanded. You can do exact. So literally like exactly if they typed in exactly the ASIN. Okay. Uh, but most people don't search by ASIN. So I always do expanded. So it brings in the title and everything else. Oh, okay. Uh, and then um, again, negative targeting. Now I would do negative product targeting here and I would oh. negatively target if you, when like when you're doing book two, book three, then you want to exclude your own books. Oh, okay. Um, you don't want to be competing against yourself. That's true. Or if you have your own brand or, or maybe it's, mm -hmm. it's a brand that is yours, but it's not under your name, that kind of thing. Then you might mm -hmm. want to exclude them. If again, if you don't want to compete against yourself and more importantly, I don't want, if someone's on your book two page, I don't want you to get charged for a click just to get another sure. sale when they were already sure. on your page anyway. Yeah. So, um, but okay. again, if you've, if you've right. got, if you've got comparable brands, then, then that might be when you would um, want to exclude it. Also, right. if you have, if you have books or, or authors or brands that, you know, honestly, you really can't compete with, uh, then there's no, you know, if, if I'm writing a, a horror book, I probably don't want my ads to show up on Stephen King. I, you know, I, right, I I'm, right. cause I'm not going to, I don't want to take a chance of, even if they click on it, they're not going to buy it over Stephen King's book, most likely. So no sense in running up my, my pricing if I don't need to. Um, okay. Again, we'll do custom text. Uh, let's see if there's any other good ones. We did this make winter break magical. Here's one that did winter break wonder mystery in the Jackson house is the perfect read for nine to 12 year olds. Adventure secrets and excitement await. We yeah. can do that one. Sure, let's do that. Yeah. So, so two of yours are gonna are gonna talk about um, winter break. So it'll it'll have that sense of urgency. Okay. And grabbing people's attention. All right. And then we've got the same. Everything else is the same. Same camp uh -huh. bidding strategy. Um, again, if you want it to be at the top, mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave all this as as it was. So the only one that we've done the top search for right now for first page placement is, mm -hmm. um, is for the automated one. Uh, so we, but again, you can go in and, and tweak that as well. Mystery underscore, we'll call this one product underscore one. Okay. We'll keep the same dates. Today's date, no end date with this budget. We can make it, we're just a total of $15 right. daily budget between the three campaigns. Again, as you go, cause each one was five. So as you go, as you start seeing one work better than the other, then huh. you can always in increment it. Okay. You know? um, and again, we'll, in a, in a couple of weeks, we'll talk, we'll do another, uh, another chat and we'll go through the analytics. But in the meantime, uh, again, you really want to here, let me launch this. Okay. And you'll get an email from KDP or from Amazon to tell, mm -hmm. tell you that they've been approved. Um, the verbiage that they use is usually questionable. Like it's like, is it live? Is it not live? Um, if there's an issue, they'll tell you. Otherwise, mm -hmm. it means it's live. If it says it can accept um, ads or however they word it, then that means it's live. And then give it a couple of days. It should start seeing some impressions. Remember, impressions just means their their views, which means that you're not paying for those. You pay for the clicks. And okay. so, um, ideally, as you know, it, over the next week or so. Hopefully you'll be getting uh, quite a bit of impressions and hopefully some sales, some clicks and some sales. 
But mm -hmm. um, again, what you want to keep in mind, what you want to look at is click on the campaigns. I would look, I would check them every day. You know, you want to take a, a day off for the holidays. That's fine. But um, again, just making sure that you, you stay within that budget that you want. Okay. All right. You know, if, if you see that it's not coming close to your budget for the, you know, and you know, then Christmas day comes and you're, you know, ignore it for Christmas day or whatever. Um, mm. That's, that's completely fine. But I always check mine um, at least every couple of days, especially when it first starts out. But what you okay. want to do is you're going to, you're going to click on it overall. When you go in here, you'll see how it's doing. You'll see the click through rate, the spend, um, how many orders, how many sales. Remember that the dollar amount in sales is not how much you're making. It's how much total um, you have to look, you know, that's including, you know, you get 60 or 60% 60 of that. If it's the print version, if it's an ebook version, then you get, you know, 70% or 35, depending on what you, what you signed up 70, for. Yeah. Also keep in mind that this is only going to show you what purchases were made through that click. So right now we've got these going to our paperback, which means if they click on this ad and they buy your ebook, it's not going to show up in sales. So you might still be getting sales other than what shows up in this dashboard. Also the, um, and I talk about this in other videos, but the pixel that they put on your computer only lasts for, I believe 24 or 48 hours, which means if mm -hmm. someone clicks on your ad and maybe it's not payday, they, they don't buy it right then and there. And a couple of days later, they do buy your ad or they do buy your book. It's not going to show up in here as a sale, but you'll um, know by looking at your KDP dashboard. And by knowing your books, you know what what kind of sales you're normally used to seeing. And so even if it doesn't show in here as a sale, you'll okay. still know you'll still know because okay. you you know what to expect with your book. You can if you start seeing a bunch of ebook sales, you know, but but it doesn't show in here, you still know it's attributed to your ads. So, so the sale so that shows up here is only the one that relates to a click. Correct. Okay. Okay, so if they, if so if they click in here and don't buy and then okay. a couple of days later they do buy even if it's the paperback it won't show up here Got because that, okay. that pixel okay. that pixels already are has already died out also mm -hmm. if they click in if they click on it this is the paperback and they buy your ebook or they buy your audiobook or whatever it, it may or may not show up on sales as well so okay. keep in mind that the sales are accurate as far as that's the bare minimum of what purchases were made but again that's the that's the purchase price. That's mm -hmm. not your percentage of the purchase price. So that's why we want to look at the A cost, which is basically how much you've spent to get that. So for paperbacks, just to make it simple, for paperbacks, if you're you're getting paid 60%, you want your A cost to be lower than 60% because that means you're making a profit. Okay. So that's the kind of thing to look at right now. Um, so if you see, if you start seeing sales, um, that that's always a good thing. Um, but then you want to click and click inside the ad targeting and see where those clicks are coming from, you know, it, okay. which, okay. you know, if it's the product one, which products are those click more importantly, which products are those sales coming from, you know, or if it's your keywords, which, you know, which keywords are those coming from? Because once you start seeing sales, then you can double down on those type of products if it's a product one. So if you see that it's, you know, there's a particular book that when it's shown next to, you're getting a lot of sales from it. Well, then you might want to see what other books that author has that are similar to that and start targeting those products. Okay. Similarly, similarly with the keywords, if you start seeing, you know, a keyword, certain keywords are turning into actual sales, then those are ones that you might want to go back on to uh, publish a rocket and see what variations of those keywords can you use to try to double down and, and, you know, get even more sales. And with the automated, that's a great way to, to look and see which, um, you know, which keywords that maybe you never thought of people are actually, you know, typing in and, mm -hmm. and are converting to sales. Also, okay. you'll want to look and if you see any, and obviously we'll cover this more in the next video, but I don't want you to, to go over budget in between now and then especially with, with the Christmas right around the corner, you know, if you start seeing that there are certain products or certain keywords, whether it's in your manual keyword ad or in the automated one that are getting a lot of clicks, but are not converting to sales. And when I say a lot of clicks, if you get more than what I like to do is 10, 10 is my threshold. If I get more than 10 clicks and I don't okay. get a sale, 
I'll typically pause that keyword or that product or whatever, unless okay. you, unless you know, it's you know, very relevant to your book, then you might want to give it until it gets to 20, but mm-hmm. 10 is usually a, a good round number for me. Um, and then, and that just makes sure that you're not, you know, spending money unnecessarily. Like if, if there are, if there are keywords or there are products, whether it's automated or manual that people are clicking on the ad for and not making a sale, that's just costing you money. So after a while you need to okay. say, okay, this, this must not be that relevant. So there's no sense of me spending money on that particular keyword. I would rather you find one that is making you sales. Okay. Pause, pause the one that's getting you, that's costing you money, but not converting pause that one and take that extra 26 cents and add that to the other one that's actually oh, converting. Okay. All right. Know? Yeah. So those are some things to keep in mind between now and, uh, and when we do a deeper dive after, okay. you know, after the holidays and, and you've got, you know, more numbers to look at. And then we can really yeah. talk about um, not only how to, you know, which ones we can turn off, but also how we go to the next level, like how we take it from, from the initial ads that we create and how we make what I call high converting ads. And so, okay. um, so this is, this is the start. This, this is where good. we, this is where we all begin. Good. Sounds good. Thanks. Right. Not a Looking problem. Looking forward to it. All right, Appreciate have a good it. holiday. Well, there you go. I hope you were able to follow along, take some notes, and get more comfortable with creating Amazon ads. Even the automated ads have amazing potential to help you sell more books. It's so hard for our books to really make a dent in the marketplace, especially during the holidays, without running Amazon ads. But you don't have to go broke doing it. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions about running Amazon ads, whether it's during the holidays or any other time of the year. But did you know? you're not limited to just running ads on Amazon. In fact, you can run ads on pretty much any social media platform that exists. In fact, I have an entire series where I show you how to run ads on all the different social media platforms. Everything from running it on Facebook, Twitter, all the way to Pinterest. So if you haven't checked that out already and you're interested in creating social media ads, check that out. Otherwise, Amazon says that this video right here has got your name written all over it. So I'll catch you inside one of these videos and remember to write right.